Hey guys and welcome to another rock pooling video. Today you find me at my local beach called Coraton Cove, where I end up finding loads of amazing fish species as well as so much more. So let me show you all of the amazing species I managed to find. The first find of this rock pooling trip was this beadlet anemone, which is one of many different anemone species that you can find at this beach. You can even find snake locks and enemies here, which is my favourite anemone species to find while rock pooling. There are many different types of seaweed that can be found at this beach, including serrated rack. I managed to find this weird looking creature attached to a frond of serrated rack, but I have no idea what it could be. If anyone knows what it could be, please let me know in the comments. Okay, I'm actually on a part of this beach that I have never been to before. The tide is really, really low today. So all of this area here is sort of new territory for me. I haven't really been to this part ever. So I'm gonna have a look around, see if we can find anything cool. Okay, I have already spotted a species that I don't usually find over there on the fronds of kelp. Those are some blue-rayed limpets. So as I said, I don't normally find them all too often, so I'm definitely going to switch over to the Olympus and get some footage of them. The blue rayed limpet is one of the smallest limpet species found on UK shores, and can be identified by the stunning blue lines that you can see on their shells. This species can often be found grazing on fronds of kelp, during very low tides. They prefer lower shore habitats as they don't like to be exposed for long periods of time. Another species I managed to find attached to the large kelp fronds was the purple top shell. This exotic looking coral weed is one of the most common seaweed species found at Coraton Cove. I often find a patch of it in almost every rock pool. And as you can see here, the water is just crystal clear today. I think there's a little fish over there. If you'd be able to see that, looks like a little sand eel. But yeah. You can see right to the bottom, and it's like this in mostly all of the rock pools, so it's really great to help me get some footage. Here's another big group of sand eels just coming past. I'll try and get some underwater footage of them if I can, but it can be quite difficult. The moment I drop my camera in, they're just going to all dart off into different directions. But yeah, it's just a cool to observe them up here. I actually did manage to get some underwater footage of the sand eels, which is often easier said than done, so I'm glad I managed to film them. Mm -hmm. 
I noticed that there was also another species of fish swimming alongside the sand eels, but I'm not sure what the species could be. You can also find a lot of sea sponge in the Corriton Cove rock pools, including orange sea sponge and breadcrumb sponge. Another fish species I managed to find was this long-spined sea scorpion, which is a species I haven't found in a while, so it was great to see one again. One thing I like about Corriton Cove is the large overhangs that can be found all around the beach. This is an ideal habitat for many different species, including crabs, sea squirts, sponges, and so much more. Okay, let's flip a few rocks over and see what we can find. These ones are pretty shallow, so maybe a couple of crabs, a couple of prawns. Doesn't look like there's anything under this one though. Got another little one here. Not too much going on under this one either. I also came across loads of juvenile shore crabs in the rock pools during this trip. I noticed that they often use the seaweed or cracks and crevices in rock pools for shelter. It's been a while since I last saw a common hermit crab at this beach, so it was nice to find this one. Here is the highlight of this rock pooling trip, a group of juvenile pouting. This is a species that I have only come across a handful of times in the past, so it was amazing to just sit and observe this group swimming around this deep rock pool. This species is a member of the cod family, and they can be easily identified by their pale stripes, a long chin barbell, and a black mark at the base of the pectoral fin. And while I was filming the pouting, I noticed that there was a large velvet swimming crab sitting in the corner of the same rock pool.
Pouting are commonly found in deeper waters, being found down to depths of around 300 meters. So it was great to see them in shallow waters. These are just some of the types of things you can find if you just lift up some seaweed on the shore. There's lots to see in here. You've got big patches of encrusting algae. You've got some small patches of coral weed. Lots of different seaweeds growing in and around the pools. Irish moss there. You've got some serrated rack on the edge here. There's probably a lot more as well, but I just need to try and find it. Another species I've just noticed in this rock pool is there's a few volcano barnacles over there and I've just been watching them for a while and they are feeding so I'll try and switch over to the Olympus and get some footage of them feeding. I always enjoy filming volcano barnacles while they're feeding as I find their feeding method really interesting to watch. Here you can see their appendages combing through the water to try and capture plankton and detritus to feed on. One thing I don't often show off in my videos is the, the rocks that I'm usually walking across to find different hidden rock pools and to get from one place to the other actually supports a whole load of life on them. As you can see, you've got some barnacles, you've got a limpet there, you've got so many different species of seaweed. And what you'll find is if you lift up some of the seaweed, you'll find more hidden creatures. You've got a few more barnacles there. A limpet there with some seaweed growing on it like sort of hitchhiking and you can find a whole lot more you've got some sea mat here attached to this seaweed here looks like you've got some encrusting algae there yeah you could honestly sit here for hours and just pick out different species I'll see if I can find anything else it's great to see how all of the different seaweeds make the rock pools so colorful at this time of year but some of the species will unfortunately begin to die off as we move into autumn and winter. As I began to move up towards the upper shore, I found a lot of different species that weren't present on the lower sections of the shore, including barnacles, limpets, oysters and more. So, that's all for today's rock pooling video. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please leave a like and remember to subscribe to see more rock pooling videos on my channel in the future. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.